guys, what's up? Welcome back to the channel. Still working on this uh, 03 Arctic Cat Pantera. It's a luxury touring edition. Two up. Uh, it's got electric start and reverse. I've uh, got a lot of it done. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and tear the primary clutch down now and get that cleaned up kind of like I did with the driven clutch. So stay tuned for that. If you guys aren't subscribed to the channel, hit the subscribe button and the alert bell. That way you can come on back, check out what we got going on. Always got something going on here. Don't forget to smash the like button. Always appreciate that. So let's go ahead and get into this tear down. All right, so we need a couple tools here. Um, you can have your Torx bits. You can either, uh, I use this for the, uh, the pins for the weights. And then I believe it's a 30, a T30 bit. We'll do both of them, both the lid and the pins. And so you'll also, Want to grab yourself, you'll probably end up needing a pair of needle nose vice grips or pliers. Just anything to grab onto this pin nut here. I'm gonna grab yourself some blue Loctite when you're putting these back together. The pin uh, nuts and bolts. I'm just gonna loosen all these real quick. Simple as that. You can keep these in order. It's not really that big of a deal. These don't see enough heat, or they should not see enough heat if they're set up properly to where you have to worry about different order for the bolts when compared to putting, say, like a cylinder head back on or something of the sort. So you can see this is pretty dirty. We're gonna change that. Got your spring. This particular spring is a 0646149. So at this point, I don't have the tools to take all this apart. Um, you could if you wanted to, but what I'm gonna do is just go ahead and pop these weights out now. Keep your weights and your pins together. For the most part, that's basically what you're going to get apart if you're not going to disassemble the whole thing. Okay, so at this point, what we're going to do is just go ahead and take it over to the soda blaster. And we're just going to start going at it. Getting this stuff cleaned up.
All right, so I got everything cleaned up here. Turned out pretty good. Some other things you want to look for as well are cracks, even some really small cracks up to, you know, anything that's visible very quickly in this stationary sheave right here. You'll get them up and down is how they will typically look. Just want to go around and look at the whole thing. And this is something that I've already done, but just figured I'd show you guys. So, at this point, before reassembly, I noticed some issues here. So that bushing is completely gone. Started to wear away at this uh, pin here, but um, and there's not really much left of these right here. So I'm gonna dig in my little bag of goodies. This one's kind of the same way. That's not what you want. All three of these bushings are shot. I mean, look at that. I mean, these weights aren't in the best condition, but because, yeah, they're not looking good. They got little marks there. But other than that, yeah, I think uh, I'm going to check into these weights and go from there. Uh, the rest of it seems like it's pretty good. The bushings in here aren't like stupid sloppy. There's a little bit of plate in them. <coughs> There's a little bit of play here, but it's definitely not horrendous like these. I mean, this is important here. So I'm going to pull my bag out, my little bag of uh, weights, clutch, clutch parts, and see what I can find. All right, so I was able to snag a few of these. These are new old stock. These are 50 and a half grams, so they got the bushings in them. Good to go. So I'm going to clean these up real quick in the soda blaster and be back. All right, that's as good as they're getting. So let me go ahead and slap this thing together. I got the best of three bolts here. We got blue Loctite. So when you're putting these back together, whichever way the clutch rotates, you want to make sure that you put the bolts in to where the head is on the side. This is on the side of the rotation. So if the clutch is going this way, which it does, you want the head over here. So if for some reason this bolt does come out, or the nut does come out, then the head's going to stay in there because of the rotation. But that's why I use blue Loctite and blah, blah, blah.
and those just get snugged up. And I did go through and I checked the uh, the rollers. The rollers seem good. Another thing you're going to want to check is the buttons here. These buttons are allowed up to 20 thousandths. Let me show you. So you got your buttons on either side here. Those are allowed up to uh, 20 thousandths clearance. You know, from side to side. So, And then you don't want any flat spots on your rollers. You want to make sure that they roll nice and smooth. And you're good to go. So from my uh, examination, it seemed like the the weights were really the thing that had the most damage. So that's what got replaced. On to the next one. Okay, now when you reassemble the clutch, obviously if you're, you know, if you took your spider off from the sheaves, you want to make sure that it's that the dot on the spider is lined up with the the embossment on the um, sheave there, and you also have one on your lid. So you want to make sure that that's all lined up when you start putting your clutch back together. You're going to want to set your torque wrench to 10 to 12 foot-pounds. guys that is it as you can see it turned out pretty good uh, clutch cleaned up very well I uh, was able to get and find actually you know what the funny thing is is that it had the wrong weights in it um, it should be 50 and a half gram it had the 49 gram in there so those are typically uh, for like 4,000 feet so I got the 50 and a half gram back in there put it all back together operates as it should it's a pretty decent condition otherwise so all right, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure you guys, uh, if you're not subscribed to the channel, hit the subscribe button and the alert bell that we can come on back, check out what we got going on. Like I'm always telling you, I'm always fixing to ride something. 
always got something going on. So make sure you come on by and see what's up. So we'll see you guys in the next video. Make sure you smash the like button. I always appreciate that. So we'll see you guys in the next video. Take care. Come on back. God bless.